This is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications on how to create a new post in WordPress. We're going to start with our familiar site, uh, Business Blogging 101. This is a site hosted on um, WordPress.com and this is where I'm posting the uh, completed tutorials. They're also available on, on YouTube. So this is uh, fairly straightforward. If you looked at the other tutorial that's about how to create a new WordPress page, um, this is much the same. The key here is that uh, rather than create a page, you're creating a post. What's the difference? Uh, post is a chronological entry to a website or blog. This is what's typically associated with a, with a blog, kind of a journal style entry that has a date and time. Um, and the page is a uh, more static and traditional um, web site feature that has uh, information that, that doesn't change or you don't add to it uh, that often, um, sort of sits outside of the what's called the, the blog uh, WordPress loop. Um, every time you add a new post, it's going to appear in the center of, you know, at the top uh, of your um, website. And uh, most most blogs have the uh, posts on the home page. Uh, however, with with the newer versions of WordPress, it's possible to have a, a static page, such as uh, if you would look at this one, the About page, which just has uh, a little bit of information here about McBuzz Communications. Um, you could assign the About page to be your home page, and then have stuff that doesn't change on there, like your um, you know, statement of, of uh, purpose, your mission, um, different um, pieces of, uh, you know, information that, that represent your business or whatever you're using the WordPress site for, um, that you don't want to change that often. And then on another page, you can feature the um, blog part of the site. So here, this is more traditional format um, with, on the home page, the blog post featured front and center. Okay, let's create a new post. Uh, we're going to log into the dashboard, and uh, I've shown you how to do that in, in an earlier tutorial, so I won't go into that. But um, here's the dashboard for WordPress, and we are going to write write post, which is already selected here. Uh, we're going to give it a title my new post okay and we're gonna click in the visual editing window and here I am going to tell you how much I heart word you can see that typing is not one of my strengths WordPress how much I heart WordPress that's not even a complete sentence but hey this is blogging so what do you want uh, I'm going to assign a, a category to my post, WordPress Tutorials, I have there, and uh, now I can save it. If I save it, let's just try that, okay, I'm going to save right now and continue editing. That just saves my work uh, in case I'm a little concerned if there's a thunderstorm going on or something like that. I think, you know, my computer might go out at any minute. I can go ahead and save my post that I'm working on. It's a good idea to to do that every now and then, um, depending on whether you have a backup battery. Okay, but as you can see there, if I go to now manage my latest, um, where is it, new title down here, is listed as unpublished. Okay, so that, that is unpublished, unpublished um, until I go back to it. I'm going to click on edit for that post that I was working on. That wasn't the post I was working on. Uh, gosh, I should rehearse these more carefully. Uh, my new post was actually the one I was working on. I've got two unpublished posts in here. You can have as many as you want. Uh, okay, so go back to the one that I was working on how much I heart WordPress. Um, 
Now, if I publish, this thing is actually going to appear live on the page. Okay, and now we can go and see that. Um, you see right now we've got WordPress tutorial in here, but we are going to refresh the page. And there it is, my new post. Good job. You just created a new post in WordPress.